Good exchange from both fighters, two-fisted attack, a right and a left, and a grazing right hand from Rahman that hits the chin of Salido. Introducing Doesn't look very to my left, out of the blue corner he comes in, where the yellow with the red, official weight, 130 and one half pounds. His record an excellent one, 57 wins, 44 of those coming by way of knockout against a dozen losses. Joining us from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, aquí está Miguel Mickey Roman. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the white and the black. Official weight, 131 pounds. His record, an impressive one. Four victories, 13 losses, four draws, one no decision, including 31 wins coming inside the distance. There's the Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico. Presentando the four-time world champion, Damas y Caballeros, Orlando City. He feels that this might be his last opportunity, and Orlando Salido, as we said, is the action fighter in amazing lives. You know, to, to go through in these kind of fights, and if he is, does that mean that Ramon good tough fight against a fighter like this, but win it? Yeah, Ramon is going to have to show a little bit of well, this is Mickey Ramon to the Ramon, so Ramon goes uh, aren't quite good enough to be champions. Ramon insists that he hasn't had the kind of support, the nutrition, all those things that have given away, had them taken away. It takes him a little while to warm up. It's a truism of guys who are right as we'll see if Salido follows up. Ramon was badly hurt by that from Ramon's career tonight. As high as the standards of like the football, but he's being out tough. They're both very tough guys. Salido's greater technique makes him a tougher guy here. Because his shot is not, is not throwing at least think Ramon is still trying to gather himself. And Salido, while he better, he's placing some beautiful shots to test the chin of Ramon to see exactly how hurt. And when he throws, it's giving Salido target. And I think Salido's counters let his punches go. But now Ramon is beginning to come to life again. to fight his way off the ropes, landing a right-hand shot. Take him back to work. And shots are true, I mean, you're exactly right. Salido will be hurt 12 times in the fight, but he recovers. So, 30 seconds into round number three. Roman manages to drive Salido back into the ropes again, and here goes Mickey Roman. I think that's so brutal about Salido fighting. The one really took Salido to a high level was his battle with, with, with each other. You saw Vargas earlier this evening in our first fight. You saw a part of what he could do, but those skills have not yet returned to the level where they were the night that he fought Orlando Salido. skilled southpaw, and against the skilled southpaw, he went, you know, to war. I mentioned Cristobal Cruz. And on and on and on. all yep. in kinds of fights all through his career. There you go. Power punches landed this round, both well into double figures. He has guile. You know, he's the more clever fighter of the... Round four of the schedule, ten. Let it go, let it go. The first three rounds, it threw.
thrown a total of about eight jabs between them. Everything is power punches. Harold, how do you have it through three? <laughs> okay, Jim. You know, when they fight a uh, head-to-head, toe-to-toe, Orlando Salido is almost unbeatable. He lands that hard right hand. I got a three to nothing, 30 to 27, Orlando Salido. Because I think that right hand to Salido's is doing more. It ultimately may be by stoppage. And so far, it's playing out the way and it was anticipated to play. Let's sequence the right hands from Salido. Yeah, he landed a couple of solid shots. Right hand for Roman. Salido fires back with combination. Down goes Salido. 11th time he's been knocked down in the last nine fights. He really didn't have his feet under him even when he tried to get up. So the obligatory early knockdown of Salido takes place in round four. And now Roman comes on to try to capitalize on having hurt the old man. This is Roman's whole career right here, guys. Can he finally get over? the guy who fights through this in this moment with Ramon overextending himself. Ramon, R Ramon had a moment right there. I think Salido's back. I think his head is clear. He has extraordinary recuperative powers. Here we see a good exchange from both fighters. Two-fisted attack. A right and a left. And a grazing right hand from Ramon that hits the chin of Salido. Doesn't look very hard, but it's hard enough to put him down. Here we see another angle. Left, right, land square on the chin, down goes Salido. You know, you watch, you watch him go down and up, really. But that one was well placed and well timed. Yeah, it's where you get hit. But he really didn't have his legs. I mean, they were not good, and he got up and, and won the rest of the round. He recovered, but some of that may just be age. He's been in a lot of wars, he's got a lot of... Key Garcia, as I was mentioning, Salido was dropped so many times, he should have been knocked out. Still coming forward, and it was a technical loss. Left side of his face is cheekbone. Well, as Ramon, who appeared to me to be swelling in the cheekbone at the end of the last round, I think both of Salido is... He doesn't have normal tough fights. Like, this is an extraordinarily tough action fight. It's par for the course for him, but... But you can see both guys starting to bust up from the inside out because of the body shots, the short uppercuts, the short hooks. Both guys are inflicting a lot of damage on the other one right now. Which is exactly what we expected. Which is exactly what we told you, the audience, you would see. A firefight of the highest order. This round in particular is such good back and forth inside oh, let offense. Go, let go, let go. Shots that do the damage. Ramon in the first round, Ramon knocks the leader down. In the last round, they're both constantly looking for that moment. That sometimes indiscernible moment when you've got... Sometimes the moment can pass without you really knowing. Good work for both of them right now. Amazing. This is extraordinary. Amazing. Savage body work. Harold Letterman said earlier, these are not easy rounds to score. Here's the sixth of a scheduled ten. Salido starts out to the body in this round. Now brings it upstairs with the right hand. The, one of the things that makes Salido such a great action fighter, maybe the premier action fighter at the moment, you know, that's a big right hand he landed, is that he is vulnerable. He shows vulnerability, the kind that had you never seen him fight. And believe it or not, he has a game. The merchant used to say about Arturo Gatti. Drama fighter. Salido is a real drama fighter. Coming at the end of the day, day, I'm not going to say that it doesn't matter to you whether he won or he lost. But sometimes it's hard to remember whether he won or he lost. But I, I love to go into a boxing discussion with a bunch of people and say, hey, tell me, who won the first Gatti Ward fight? And so many times people get it wrong. Salido versus Rocky Martinez, Salido versus Vargas, Salido versus so many guys where you go, who won or lost, you don't remember. Because the fight is a loser in a fight like that. The fights are so entertaining that it's almost a 40, it doesn't even matter, like you just mentioned. In a genuine spiritual sense, with the communion of boxing fans, both fighters win in a fight like that. Exactly. They pay a high price. And this may not even be your favorite style of fighting, but at the very least, you have to respect both of these guys 
for the way they, they put it all on the line. You know, you, we talk Salido's craft. He's also a dirty fighter. Salido hits the low as a point of his strategy. It's a tactic he employs. And he hit Barca, the Roman low a couple times in this round one with a really uh, effective right hand. And it's helped him in this round. He knows how to do it and get away with it. That's why we got a referee. The referee has to do his job. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure any referee is competent to keep up with everything that Orlando Salido is capable of doing in the ring. And perhaps the only saving grace is that dirty fighters respect other dirty fighters. Round six, Roman landed a fight high 27 power shots, and Salido landed a fight high 28 power shots. And here they are to match again. Now, Harold, it's an extra point for the knockdown in round four. So that's keeping the fight very, very close. I mean, this fight is about as close as you can get. But you can look at the fighter and see they're not as passionate about what they're doing. And it doesn't, it makes the fight less good. You know, when you see the passion from Roman, you see how, how extraordinarily, like, emotional it gets between these two guys. Yeah, both fighters have to have these wins. We talked about the fans appreciating a good fight like this and maybe not worrying about who the victor is, but both guys really need a victory if they're gonna move on to the next stage because Salito's trying to get another title shot and Roman is trying to get another title shot and they both have to win tonight in order for that to happen. Well, we've referred to Vaccino Lomachenko and his on paper lost to Orlando Salito. What would it take? Would a million dollars get you to do it? And he said, well, maybe. I think the, you know, Vasily Lomachenko is genuinely thinking of leaving the 130 pound weight class. The one thing that might lure him is the win that he got. He did legitimately win that fight. It was Lomachenko's second pro fight, you know, all that. So he does have that win, and for that reason, it would be an interesting rematch. Roman is showing such urgency with the way he's fighting. Well, this is the fight of Roman's life. I mean, as Andre said it perfectly earlier, the, you know, this is the Super Bowl for Roman. If he could beat a guy like Salido, his career now. He goes back to Juarez and says, I beat Orlando Salido. If Salido loses to a guy like Roman, maybe it indicates that he's a half-court low. Yes, mate. But we thought that before. What a war. they 300 punches between them, and most of them are full-on power shot. Not a chance, Jim. <laughs> if they've thrown it. Well, that's between you and Coffeebox, Max. I, I don't saying. see Willie Pepin there tonight. Every punch makes contact with something. <laughs> oh, oh, what a solid left hook to the body by Roman. So Salido comes back with three. Okay, I've got a little hook to the body. Another hard left hook to the body by Roman. Fighting with a real sense of urgency here in round number eight. Let's see if Salido can match the urgency at age 37. Salido in second year of crime fighting.
Anderson had shot his brother, didn't tell police because he trusted karma to take care of it, and a few years later, that guy died in prison. Mickey Roman, who is willing to wait for satisfaction after a life of hardship and frustration, and may finally get it in time. But Salito's still not in for fading in fights. Sometimes he's not fading in a spirited effort between rounds from trainer Rudy Hernandez. It's an equally big night. A chance to make a mark as a trainer. to the head. Salido goes down, and Ramon just beat the fight out of Salido. That's the best way you can put it. I think Max put it as best as you possibly can. Salido has a lot of wars under his belt. I know he had a new training regime for this fight, but off camera, I told Max that Salido just looks tired. If you look in his face before the fight and the fighter meeting, he looks like a fighter who's been through more wars than you can count, and tonight, it showed up. And there's Myra Salido at ringside, along with Orlando's daughter, as Robert Bird was waving it off. And there's the look of fatigue and disappointment on the face of Orlando Salido. Max Kellerman makes his way up into the ring for what promises to be an emotional post-fight interview with Miguel Roman. And I'm not sure if this is the last time we'll see Salido, but if it is, Kudos to him. He's had a tremendous career. He's entertained boxing fans for many, many years. He's got nothing to hang his head hat about. Excuse me, his head about. And there's nothing but respect for Orlando Salido. And look at the smile on the face of Rudy Hernandez. And Roman says that was fun. Let's do it again. Roman needed this kind of victory tonight. I think he needed a good trainer too, and I think he's got one right now. Not disparaging his previous trainers. Sometimes. Change is good just for the sake of change. And I think Rudy Hernandez helped him tonight. And now let's go to ring announcer Ray Flores with the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 43 seconds of the ninth round. Referee in charge, Robert Bird, waves off the contest for your winner by technical knockout, Miguel Mickey. Orlando, we've seen you in fights like this. You get knocked down, you're hurt. But somehow you managed to rally back to win. But tonight at the end, it looked like you'd had enough. What was the difference tonight? Bueno, los años que tiene uno peleando uno tanto tiempo ya en el boxeo se va desgastando uno tra pelea tras pelea ya no es el mismo you know the years that i've been fighting the years of all the fights and all the battles you know one is not the same you wear sometimes in boxing the really good tough old fighter comes up against the tough younger fighter and he does the thing he usually does but if he finds out the younger fighter is a real warrior he realizes that that was him once upon a time, and he can't beat a younger version of himself. Is that what happened tonight? Bueno, eso ya lo he hecho ante grandes prospectos. Antes les me han querido pelear y así los he vencido. You know, I've been in great prospects before. I've been and I've won that that way. Pero esta vez fue diferente. Los años, el tiempo, el tiempo cuesta. 
eh, te desgaste el cuerpo, te desgaste todo en la condición físicamente y ya, desgraciadamente ya no puedes continuar. No puedes you know, but you know, this way, truthfully, it's a, it's a matter of age. Time takes its toll and obviously I just couldn't do it. Does that mean that you're done? Ya me voy. I'm going, I'm done. This was it for you. This was it. This was my last. I'm going. If that is in fact the case, thank you for the many, many, many great fights. Espero que me recuerde por esas grandes peleas que brindé, peleas del año que estuve contemplando usted de ellas y gané una o dos. Y gracias a todo, a todo el público que me ha seguido. Thank you, and thank you for all that remember me that way, for all the great fights that I had, the fights of the year that I've had, that I won a few here and there, and all the public that has followed me. Well, you might have lost this one, but certainly a candidate for fight of the year. You were in another one, maybe. Congratulations on a great career, Orlando, which started out as an opponent with losses and ended up as a champion and a legendary action fighter.